Hey Max Leads, here are two exercises that you can do together that will give you a full body experience. Check it out. Okay, so the first exercise is a single leg deadlift to a goblet squat. You're gonna need dumbbells for this, so when you're performing this movement, you're gonna make sure that it's the opposite arm of the leg that you're standing on. You lower it below knee level, making sure that you're bending that front leg and you're putting the other leg behind you, bending at the hip. Keep your core engaged and make sure that that dumbbell is going straight down the middle. When performing the goblet squat, make sure that your elbows are facing forward as you go down into the squatting position. Keep your core engaged and your spine in a neutral position. To modify this movement, you want to step your foot back first and then as you're bending down, lift the leg up behind you to keep your balance. Then switch the position of the dumbbell to the goblet squat position while performing the goblet squat. Then from there, switch to the other arm. The second exercise is called Man Makers. It starts off with a push-up followed by a renegade row on one side followed by a renegade row on the other, hopping the feet back in into a deadlift position and then performing a dumbbell clean into an overhead press. When performing this movement, you can keep your feet together performing the push-up. However, you want to spread the feet apart when you're performing the renegade rows. If your feet are very close together, you'll notice that your hip starts to tilt to the side, making it very difficult to pick up the weight. One adjustment that you can make is that you can hop your feet back, spreading the feet apart and performing the push-up in this position. That way you don't have to make the adjustment when you're performing the renegade rows. So you can keep your feet spread apart right at the beginning of the movement. For the first modification, you can walk your feet back and then perform the push-up instead of hopping your feet back. This way you can reduce any impact this movement can have on your knees. When you're walking your feet back in, make sure you properly position yourself into a deadlift position before picking up the weights. Keep that core engaged as you pick them up, shrugging your shoulders into a dumbbell clean into the overhead press. For a second modification, what you can do, you can perform this movement with the modified push-up. So you walk your feet back, drop to your knees, performing the modified push-up, and then performing the modified renegade rows. Remember to squeeze your glutes and your abdominals in this position, coming back off of your knees, walking your feet back in into the proper deadlift position, picking up the weights, and then performing the dumbbell clean with the overhead press. Remember to spread those knees apart when you are performing the renegade rows for stability purposes. Also remember, as you're performing the overhead press maneuver, make sure to breathe all of your air out and squeeze your glutes and your abdominals at the top of the movement. <laughs> 